What's up, it's Marco, Sage's Soccer, and today I'll be talking about the U.S. Men's National U-17 teams, 1-0 win over Canada, and this is a game that, if you watched it, it was pretty rough, like, going through, there weren't too many good combinations in midfield, a lot of times when the ball just looked kind of dead, it did change a bit, and I want to get into that a bit later, but, like, this was a bit of a rough performance, but this game really showed me something that makes me optimistic about the team. And that was when the game got rough and we were really struggling to make something happen to break down the Canadian defense. And, the, and to be fair, they were struggling too. Like, they were not posing us any threat at all. Like, if I had to guess, their XG was below 0.5. Like, we had them, like, locked down. Our defense was doing well today. But for our offense, we were really struggling to get things going. But we stayed the course. We were a team that's pretty technical for this level. It's hard to, like, really get good passing going, but we kept with it. We kept trying to play in a positive, possession-based way, and we kept hammering at it and hammering at it, and eventually it worked out. And I think that's very good for our program, because a lot of times we could have just said, okay, this isn't working, we're just going to go long, we're just going to put on our really fast guys, and we're going to flip the game and just bulldoze our way through the opposition, which we could have done, I think. But instead, we stayed the course, we kept playing with our technical guys. We kept playing in possession-based style. And eventually it worked out and we were able to get the win. And listen, at this level, at this age range, it's always going to be rough, especially considering like the field wasn't the greatest. So it makes it even harder for technical players. But I love that we were trying to do this. And I think it's a good sign for this program and reason to be optimistic. Like that being said, the game was kind of rough. I think today our top performers were mostly the defense and the keeper. I think our back six, the total of them, were all playing pretty well today. Uh, I think uh, Duran Faree in goal really impressed with his ability with his feet. Uh, he was doing well coming out and claiming crosses as well, which is good to see, especially for a keeper who, I mean, I don't think you can really say there's concerns about his height. I think he's he's listed as six foot two, but it's good to see a keeper, especially as young as him, being able to do that. And he was playing well out of the back. I think that's what you need to be a good goalkeeper and. Hopefully he gets a couple more games in the USL this year because I think he has shown a bit of promise. Uh, at center back, uh, Hall and uh, Diaz today were doing pretty well. I think uh, Hall and Hawkins as our center backs are probably the two who are better on the ball than Diaz. But solid defensively, Kanda really didn't have a chance to score, and I think we're locking him down. Then at right back, Harangi keep, kept doing well. I think he's more of a midfielder when he plays for Frankfurt. So him at right back, there's a little bit of growing pains defensively. He picked up a yellow card having to do that. But in possession, he is so good. And he can almost go into the midfield. I think I used Rico Lewis as a comparison. I think like the Philip Lom role is probably what people might know it as a bit more. <laughs> Who knows? But um, not comparing him to Philip Lom, obviously. But just guy in Ger from Germany uh, being a right back who's coming in into the midfield. I think it's a decent comparison. And he's doing that position really well, and he's really helping us with possession. Uh, then uh, at the six, Mendoza kept, he's just a solid player. I think he does very well for this team, and I want him to stay a starter. Uh, then at left back, we had uh, Verhoeven, who he's a preferred right back. He's filling in at left back because we don't have any natural left backs with this team. And I think it was a bit rough for him today. Couldn't get much going offensively, which is understandable. It's not his preferred position. But when uh, Sawyer Gura came on as a substitute, it really changed the game. And him coming on really allowed the left side of the field to get opened up a lot more because uh, David Vasquez and Cruz Medina were playing on the left today. And they were really just kind of invisible in the first half, the first 60 minutes, to be honest. But once Gura came on, like those two really got on the ball a lot more. And I think those are two of our more talented players. And it really helped us. Vasquez got himself an assist. Medina had a couple of good involvements. And just subbing on Gura, who can play left back a little bit better. I think he is right-footed, but he's got a good left-footed cross. He might just be two-footed. And that really helped out the team. Just added a lot of balance. And I think that he really helped out. And Vasquez and Medina, despite a pretty uh, lackluster first 60 minutes, they came on. And I think they did pretty well later in the game. Uh, then for the rest of our players, I think uh, Brian Romero, uh, that's what they're calling him today. Uh, Romero, he was, um, I think he's kind of emblematic of the team where I really liked what he was trying and I loved his mentality this game. 
it just really wasn't working out. But I think skill will develop. And I loved how he was really trying something. He was trying to go at guys on the dribble. He was trying to make crosses, trying to make good passes. It really didn't work out for him today. But I hope he stays like that because he will ke- he will keep getting better. And I think he'll be a very good player in the future. And then with the rest of our teams, uh, Soto up top. I thought he wasn't at his best today, but he's a 2007 player who's playing up with the 2006 group. Like, especially, like, at a younger age, like, playing up a year is really tough. I mean, just look at Canada's defense. Like, I think he did as good as he could, and I'm still excited about him for the future. And then Adrian Simon Gill in the midfield, uh, the Barcelona guy, he really wasn't looking great today. I know that Barcelona's been playing him at right back a lot more, and I think that might be where he ends up sticking because he didn't look great at the midfield today. He was going out to the touchline a lot. He was getting wide a bit. So I feel like maybe in the future we try playing him as a right back. And I think that could get the best out of him because we've got a lot of talent in center midfield. And I think we'd rather get somebody else on there. But there's still a good bit of potential. We have a guy playing in Barcelona. Like, that's huge. So I'd try him out at right back next time he sees the field. And then we have our subs who came on and changed the game. I mentioned Sawyer Guerra already, but Kiro Figueroa came on. And he had a header to, uh, which was the game winner. It was a 1-0 game. And... I think you can see a ton of upside with him. Like the athleticism, it's seemingly there. He's good in the air. I think his movement is really just the thing that's separating him right now. He's getting into the right positions, which is really good. And you can see like a good bit of, I think I called it ingenuity. Like he can really try to get on up balls in like the right, like in creative ways. There was one time when the ball came up in the air and I think he was lining up to do a bicycle kick. Like he didn't end up doing it, but. I just looking at his highlights, I think that's what he was thinking of. And uh, yeah, that's about it for most of the players. Uh, Habrun and Soma didn't really have enough time to impact the game. Soma was put on as a center back, which I I wouldn't like him to do at all with this team. But uh, good to see him on the field. And some Aquino came on late as well. Again, didn't have enough time to affect the game. But I think there was a lot of positives here. We didn't like we were never going to lose this game to Canada. They just weren't able to play out of the back against us. And even if they did knock it forward, our center backs, uh, Hall and Diaz, they were handling their target man really well. It's even Hall, which his concern is how good he can be in the air because he's uh, on the smaller side for a center back. He was dealing with the target man really well today. And like just solid defensively, we end up taking our chance. We are constantly knocking on the door. And we're just the better team. I'm not worried about facing Canada if we see them again. And they were missing two players of uh, Biello and Ozzy Omaze, I believe. And like that'll help them, but not enough. I think we're looking really good. And I think with Mexico drawing, we should be the favorites to win this competition. I'm pretty excited about this group moving forward. And I think I'm starting to put together like what our best starting lineup with this group would be at the moment. It'd probably be Furry and Goal, Hall and Hawkins as center backs, uh, Harangi out on the right as right back, uh, Guerra as left back. Probably Mendoza as the six with Soma and Medina in midfield ahead of him. Uh, Diaz, or sorry, Vasquez on the left. And then maybe Burton on the right. That's the one position I'm not sure about. And Figueroa should probably be starting for us up top. And yeah, so I'll talk about it. It was a really good game for us. Like It was rough, but I liked how we were we stayed in that possession-based style. We kept hammering away at it and eventually were able to come away with the win. And I think there are positives to take away from this game. And yeah, so I'll talk about it. See you.